hello everyone welcome back to the channel this is Austin code cipher back again with another crash course now in this crash course we are going to be looking at the jquery ui the user interface so designing the different areas like side menus tabs accordions so the date pickers tool tips the different types of alerts using the UI as you're seeing here we are having some alerts here and the side menu the main section so right now I'm going to show you how to get the jQuery UI but the bad thing I'm offline so I went uh, I went on this site jQueryUI.com forward slash theme roller so when you reach there you'll be directed to the different types of themes and when you reach this page you will see such a page it will be having on the left hand side where you're seeing my cursor it will be having these tabs one will be like home and another one will be gallery so make sure you navigate to gallery and you will see the different types of themes even you may get one which is better than this i'm using so mine is called ui lightness it will be having this orange background or on every item when you are highlighting everything will be like orange that's what you will get the active the non-active so and this is the side menu they are going to be easy to create using this bootstrap library sorry not the bootstrap the jquery ui library so if you're into this kind of tutorial please stick around as you can see these are now accordions so we're having a date picker here so this is the stuff you're going to be creating throughout this crash course so stick around and we get started now as i told you when you reach there you download they will allow you to download some zip file make sure you come and extract this zip file right click on it extract extract and you get such a folder and inside there are different files you can get so for me i went ahead and created some custom i went ahead and created some custom stylings i made this custom folder for script and custom folder for styling so inside styling it's where I went and put this dot CSS just that I removed the mini word it was too long I was so lazy to write the whole stuff so I, I removed the mini word and I it was left this you get the mini also the custom is mine also make sure you carry this folder for images and put it in the styling folder the one for script tag for the script <laughs> don't speak that the one for the script make sure you carry this mini.js this one and paste it in the folder you'll be using and navigate to this folder called external again inside jquery so get this folder and paste it in the same folder where there is script so those two scripts will be together the jquery scripts and when all that is done come to your editor include them in the head section make sure you start with this jquery.ui jquery-ui.css so the styling sheet is the one you bring first followed by this jquery.js so this script tag this script file jquery.js and lastly you add jquery-ui.mini.js so put them in the same order like this because some files may run before the others and things fail to start so if we go back to our project let's start with the menu this menu side left side menu 
so the left side menu is what we are going to begin with this is the playground where you are going to be coding everything so we are going to go to our first column which is having left side menu which is here this is the first column and I'm going to create some ordered list an ordered list and I'm going to put those links oh href and these are going to be going nowhere I'm going to put home and cause that I'm going to copy this different I'm going to call these countries so it's going to be different from the other one about so now to create a, a drop down to create a drop down you go immediately after a the closing a tag inside there you open another unordered list so we are creating a drop down and we create another ant tag this one's going to also go nowhere and this one's going to be uganda close those links and i'm going to copy this once again this one's going to be kenya this one's going to be india so when we are to preview this in our browser we are having this menu you are seeing here you see so to add the to add the menu function are you seeing you're going to go right at the bottom or in the head section you can add this jquery or the script tag and we are going to write the jquery document dot ready so this one will check will not allow any function or any event to fire off before the document is ready so that's the first line we need now go back to your left menu give the unordered list an ID of menu so you can name it any ID you can give it an ID you want so that's what I've named it now scroll down to your scroll down to your jquery the dollar sign so you target the id you gave it menu you say hash menu you say dot menu function or method and close that how cool how simple it is so that's the only stuff you need to create such responsive menu as you can see we are having this nice left side menu looking <laughs> nice looking left side menu that's the only stuff you needed there is no css everything has been applied to our web page you can go ahead and add as many as possible just this is the line you needed to use in this jquery ui library So I can put as many as I want. Contact. Contact. We have services. Services. Now this one is the part one. We are going to cover different items in different videos. Now let's say again India, again Uganda. There is another drop down list. Just go after the ang tag and place another unordered list and add another list li so make sure you follow the order because at times it gets confusing to beginners and this one's going to go nowhere and here we are going to put cities like kampala some areas in uganda and i'm going to put this one is also another area in, in Uganda. 
So these are sub directories in that same menu. As you can see, we are having Uganda. Uganda is having another sub directory. Or oh, how cool is it? Now we have designed our left menu so you can go on adding other items items now there is another attribute you can also disable some buttons let's say we want to disable the button for home you can say class equals ui now its state will be disabled you say ui dash state disabled and the first link will be disabled as you can see it's not response it's not hovered or highlighted but the rest of the stuff will be highlighted so guys i hope i have given you some basic knowledge on how to create these simple menus you just had to write an ordered list here the unordered list give give it an id of menu and when you're done make sure you have included these files in the document and when you're done go to the extreme bottom and place this code you target the menu this is how you use jquery to target different ids classes elements so we target the id and we passed on this function menu and everything got styled up easily that's the use of this jquery jquery libraries and that's the user interface jquery the jquery ui if this tutorial was useful to you please go ahead subscribe as i told you you'll find different themes mine is orange but there are some cool looking themes you can get dark blue green yellow so guys please subscribe to the channel and stay tuned because we are coming back with more in the next tutorial we are going to be working on the tabs and the date picker please subscribe